So we're now going to create a table. I'll click on my table and I have my insert table dialog box. So my current table style you can see is set to the parts list. I could change it by using the drop down list or I could launch the table style dialog box to create a new table style. My insert options, I can start from an empty table or I can start from a data link that would fill information into the table or from an object data in the drawing. I could be extracting information if I had blocks for example that were carrying attribute information that could be put into the table. I have a box that previews what my data table is going to look like and I can specify the insertion point or specify a window where I'd like the table to be placed in the drawing. Here I can set the, the number of columns and rows and I can set the, the, uh, the number of data rows and the row height in lines. Also set the cell styles for the first cell row that's going to be the title the second row is going to be the header and all the other rows will be data. This could be adjusted right now. In looking at this example of a finished table that we're going to create, you can see that we need five columns and we need seven rows including the title and the data. So we'll set our columns to 5 and our data rows to 7. We'll let the row heights be one row. We can see in our preview what it's going to look like with our title and our headers. And we'll go ahead and say OK. Now I can place by clicking on the screen and zoom in on my table. I'll start by adding my title and then I can fill in each of the headers in the same manner by double clicking in the cell and using my multi-line text editor to fill in the information. Now I can use the tab key to move um, between columns or between cells And as I tab across, you notice I move down to the next row now. I can now start entering the actual data into my table. So under quantity, I have one. Uh, the part is, our, is uh, R1, a resistor 1. I have a manufacturer's number. I have a cost of 79 cents for this part. And then this last column is going to be a total cost. And looking over the columns, I can see that on my cost each and on my total cost, I want these to be formatted for money, dollars and cents. To do this, I'm going to select by dragging a window over these two columns. And you can see that these columns are now highlighted. And you can see my ribbon panel has changed to show me my table tools. I can work with inserting and deleting rows or columns, merging cells, changing the cell format, putting in formulas, or work with data that's linked to other cells. In this case, under format, I want to set the format to currency. Notice that when I make that change, the information I've already added in now is formatted for dollars and cents. Then this column under the manufacturer's number, uh, all these parts are coming from the same manufacturer. So I have a couple of ways that I can deal with filling in the column. I could copy this information by clicking in the cell, right clicking the mouse, choosing copy, just arrow down to the to the cell below, right click and paste. 
or because all the numbers in this column are going to be the same. Notice this uh, grip that I have for autofill. If I grab the autofill grip and pull it down over the cells that I would like to fill, it automatically fills all of those cells with the same data. And I'm going to fill in the rest of the information uh, in these other columns, leaving the total cost uh, for last. When I'm moving up and down the columns, I can use my arrow keys to move from column to column, left, right, and up and down. I can see after I have this data in that I have two extra rows at the bottom that I don't need. So I'm going to click and I'm going to pull a window across those two rows so that they become highlighted and up here in my uh, rows uh, palette I'm going to delete those rows. Now in the total cost column this is a calculated amount. I have a quantity and I have a price each. The quantity times the cost each it will give me the total cost for that particular part. In order to do this I need to insert a formula. Now I can insert an equation and an equation always starts with equals. In this case we're going to put the cell name and the mathematical function. It's going to be this cell is A3. So I'll enter A, A3 and it's going to be times, so I'll use the asterisk to multiply, and it's times D3, which is the address of this cell. And when I hit enter, you notice that it calculates 1 times 79 cents gives me a total of 79 cents. Now, if I click on this cell, so it still says the calculated amount, and I copy that, I can go to the cell below, and I can paste. And as long as I'm not pasting the formula itself, but I'm pasting the result, it's going to change the cell addresses for the next row. So it automatically calculates 5 times 89. I can go to the next row below that, paste again. This gives me 3 times $1.25. And the row below that, right click, paste one more time, and it gives me 1 times 257. So now we have these calculated amounts. If this changed, for example, if my quantity on this first one changed to 2, then it's automatically calculated over here in the total cost. Now I can manually adjust my table by clicking on it and you notice how the grips light up. I can drag to increase the size of the table. I can also resize the columns by using the grips and just manually edit the format of the table itself by clicking on each one of these. I can stretch or I can right click and you notice that I can change the table style. I can size columns equally, row sizes equally, and take care of this from my shortcut menu. I can also go to any of the columns. I can click on this column for example and I can change the formatting. For example right now I'm formatted at middle center and I could change this for example to a top right. So any of these things can be changed even though I have a table style. I could then, once this was set up the way I wanted it, I could
create a new table style based on this or modify my table style by selecting this table as being my new table style. And so I've saved that in a modified table style. Notice that these uh, calculated amounts have kind of a gray uh, highlight to them. And that's to let you know that those are calculated amounts and that there's formulas in those cells.